Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix with another tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you the quick or the in-depth blemish removal tutorial or process for different tools in Photoshop. I know this may be something you may really underestimate but I want to show you how each and every tool works when it, it comes to removing blemishes and how you can apply it in different cases or different instances when it comes to removing blemishes in photoshop and if i truly find the video helpful i request that you hit a like button so that youtube can push and recommend this video to so many people out there so usually before doing skin retouching or during the process of skin retouching we always have to clean up or remove pimples or skin imperfections from uh, the images so what i'm going to do i'm just going to show you how this basically works and we proceed with these very tools that we have so basically i'm going to go through different tools for blemish removal we have the healing brush tool the spot healing brush tool the patch tool and finally our clone stamp tool so first of all in order to remove blemishes we want to first of all create usually we either duplicate the background there by pressing ctrl or command j once and we create a copy from the background layer or we create an empty layer so in both instances i'm going to be explaining everything for you so when you have a new field layer it means that the layer that you're working on already has information in it so it is going to be basically a copy from the background layer so first of all let's first for, for, let's look at our spot healing brush tool so for this case we're just going to come to our settings and make sure the hardness we prefer just going to be using one of the hardness of around we prefer around 20%. 20% is okay. So with that done, we have to come to this option which says sample all layers. So basically, when you sample all layers, it means that you're going to be copying information from also the background layer. And how this tool works, you basically have to use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to either decrease or increase on the size of the tool that you are using. So if I told your tool is looking like a plus icon, make sure you press the caps lock key. And how this works, we basically make sure it is slightly bigger than the blemish you want to eliminate. And simply left click, just like that. And Photoshop is going to automatically copy and replace that blemish with a clean skin. So you can see Photoshop is doing a pretty nice job in this case. And we're just trying to or we are removing or cleaning up the blemishes from uh, the image so usually this tends to work if at all you're doing a quick fix to remove blemishes and how this can also work if at all you want to remove blemishes and you want to work on an empty layer to remove blemishes i'm just going to delete this and i show you another practical example so i'm just going to come to this layer and i'm just going to delete it so just come on the plus icon and you create a new empty layer so right now unlike the first instance that we had the layer that we had created from the background layer had information and this layer doesn't have information meaning it has no information regarding the image so after selecting your spot healing brush tool you're just going to come to this option and make sure we select sample all layers meaning we also have to copy information or sample information from the background layer which has information and we clean the background layer information through our empty layer so when you check this option you can see that it also removes the blemishes or cleans them and the good thing about this you can as well see the process of the blemish removal you can see it copies and removes the blemishes while sampling it from the information layer which is our background layer so basically that is how this tool is going to work so if at all you don't check this option and you have selected the empty layer and you try removing a blemish it is going to it is not going to remove that blemish so that has to be taken into consideration so you're just going to be looking at the second tool which is going to be our healing brush tool so how the healing brush tool works you can as well work with it like uh, you create a copy from the background layer and how this is going to work you zoom in and you look for the blemishes that you want to eliminate 
and how this is going to work you sample and paste over the blemish so remember the spot healing brush tool is going to be automatically replacing the blemish and cleaning up the blemish for us but right now we have to replace the blemish manually so i'm just going to show how this is going to be working so for this case i'm just going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard so when you hold down alternate on the keyboard or option so when you hold it down you have to make sure the, the size of your brush is slightly bigger than uh, the blemish of course so you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and simply left click like that so make sure the sample first of all is either in the current layer current and below or, or, or layers if at all you have a copy from the background layer. so how this is going to work come and make sure you hold on the alternate key on the keyboard so when you hold on the alternate key on the keyboard left click on an area that is close to the blemish and release the alternate or option key on the keyboard and simply left click over the blemish to get rid of it so that is how the healing brush tool is going to work so the healing brush tool works the same as the the clone stamp tool so if at all you're using a clone stamp tool you can use the same process and the same shortcuts are uh, like i've mentioned so for this case this option doesn't matter at all if at all you're using a layer that has information with it within it rather so if at all you're using an empty layer and you're using the healing brush tool make sure you sample all layers or even current and blue because this layer doesn't have information within it so make sure you sample current and below because you have to sample the empty layer and the layer below it or even all layers because it is also going to sample information from the background and how this is going to work just press enter and hold up hold down the alternate or option key on the keyboard left click on a clean area that is close to the blemish and simply left click to replace uh, the blemish so that is how the healing brush tool or the clone stamp tool is going to work as you're trying to clean up or re remove the blemishes from your images uh, during skin retouching so you can see this is the before and after so you can as well turn off the background and you can see blemishes that we have removed initially so lastly i'm going to delete this and i show you how the patch tool is going to work for us so i'm just going to come and right click and get the patch tool how the patch tool works you can create a copy from the background layer by pressing ctrl or command j on the keyboard command j on the keyboard rather command j and that is going to do this for us and how this works you basically left click and draw over the blemish and circle it and then close it and just move it on an area that is clean that is just close or that has the same information or color that can easily replace the blemish so that is how our patch tool uh, works when you're trying to clean up or remove blemishes so you can see before and after so that is how the patch tool is going to work as you're trying to remove blemishes so usually when i'm removing blemishes i prefer to create or do it through frequency separation because in this case when you use frequency separation it helps us only work with the textures and we don't tamper or alter the colors within the image so what i do i come to frequency separation and i play my action and i blur out the textures so i'm going to use a radius of seven because most of the close-ups i use a radius between seven and eight then i come and i turn off the black and white and also come and select the high frequency layer so how this basically works i get my clone stamp tool because this is the one i prefer to remove blemishes better so for the settings that i tend to use when it comes to using the clone stamp tool i make sure the hardness is at zero percent because i don't want the clone stamp tool to, to leave traces behind and the opacity and the flow of 100 percent i make sure I sample this time around you can see that this layer only has textures and only want to work with the textures within the image so make sure the sample is on current layer and meaning we are, on, we are only going to be working with the information in the texture layer right here so how to remove blemishes like i said you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard 
or option and left click over the area that is clean and it is close to the blemish but as you are doing this to make sure that the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the blemish that we want to remove and if at all it is displaying a plus icon make sure you press the caps lock key on the keyboard so you hold an alternate and left click on a clean area that is close to the blemish and simply left click on that blemish to eliminate it so that is how this is going to work and this is uh, the more effective way to clean or remove blemishes because it doesn't leave traces of color behind as you're trying to clean up or remove blemishes from uh, your image as you're doing your skin retouching so basically this is uh, the complete guide to blemish removal so you can remove blemishes in the overall image so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have found this really helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating